Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on today, guys? This is the Club of the Man 1993, and we are here for some, just a brief thoughts on some wrestling news from this past Friday, as it was reported by WWE that NXT's women's wrestler Candice LeRae, also, of course, the wife of former NXT superstar uh, and, you know, NXT icon uh, Johnny Gargano, has departed from WWE as her contract has expired and at this time she has not signed an extension. Um, and she is now a free agent as of this past Friday morning, May 6th. So Candice LeRae is a free agent along with her husband at this time, Johnny Gargano. Now, um, doesn't really surprise me. Um, Candace has not, I believe, been seen on TV, I think, since, since last July or August, one of the two, um, where her and Indy Hartwell dropped the tag titles, um, to Io Shirai and Zoe Stark, because they were, they were, um, NXT Women's Tag Team Champions at the time, um, and then it was around the time she found out she was pregnant, and until they happened, she was on screen, I think a brief non-wrestling role in NXT. And then she went away to, you know, prepare to become a mother. Uh, which, you know, definitely deserved. Congratulations to, of course, the Garganos as well. Um, but then, of course, this Johnny's contract expired back in December. Well, he signed like a one-week extension to do the War Games match. And then he finished off uh, his run in NXT with that beatdown from... Uh, Grayson Waller. Um, there was rumors that they were going to extend Candace's contract uh, because of her missing time due to her pregnancy, and um, I think she had a brief, she had like a minor injury as well. So there was rumors of at first that they, apparently they were going to try to extend her contract until uh, early 2023. But I guess that didn't happen. They, you know, they let her contract expire, and now she's a free agent. I don't know if Candice is going to wrestle again. I mean, if she does, wants to, you know, all power to her. Um, you know, like her husband, Johnny, I really feel like she's more meant to be a baby face. I don't know. This is the Garganos, especially because of, you know, how great as a purebred baby face, which is something we just don't see too often, especially in WWE anymore, how great Johnny was. I just still feel like, you know, I mean, I... If I could pick who I'd rather have as a heel, Candace. I feel like Candace is more. I could probably, you know, get more mileage out of Candace LeRae as a heel than Johnny Gargano as a heel. Because, you know, Johnny tried. He's just meant to be a baby face. I'm sorry. I I I will I'll constantly still sit here and say I wasn't the biggest fan of Johnny's heel run in NXT. I wasn't. I do feel though they didn't capitalize on Candace as a heel. Like I still think she should have been the one to dethrone EO. I still think she should have she should have been the one to do so based off their history. Um or they could have somehow given her and they could have somehow given her the title and if Tegan Knox didn't get injured again and then got called up and then released I feel like, you know, Tegan Knox could have dethroned Candace since they didn't go that direction with Tegan and Dakota. Um, but I still feel like, you know, if she would wrestle again, Candace would be more, more, more of a babyface. Her and Johnny though, did apparently depart from WWE both on good terms, so the doors are open for them to come back. I will say that I only see them maybe going back. Maybe going back if Champa doesn't leave. Because I think Champa's contract expires next month, I think. I think it does. Um, cause they, cause his contract was supposed to, was supposed to expire at the same time as Johnny's, but then they extended Champa's because of his neck injury he had a couple years ago. But I'm still kind of hoping that Champa gets out of there cause I don't trust him on the main roster at all. I really do not. And if he's not going to be on the main roster, there's nothing left for him doing NXT. There's nothing left for Johnny doing NXT. Candice maybe could still do something cause she hasn't really done everything yet. But if Johnny's not going back, why should she go back? And plus, I don't know if Candace wants to be a wrestler or just focus on being a full-time mother now. They did give birth to their child, Quill, back in February. Congratulations. Johnny, though, obviously has expressed interest in coming back. Now, Johnny has taken time off, you know, to, to focus on being a father, which, you know, I don't blame him. 
I know some people are thinking he could possibly be appearing as the Joker in the Owen Hart uh, Cup tournament, which I said in my last video I I'd like. If he wasn't facing Samoa Joe, which Johnny and Joe would be an excellent match, but I don't think Samoa Joe should be losing yet. And I hate to see Johnny come in and lose his first match also. And I hate to see Johnny, you know, be a heel and have to be, you know, be the ones to help out Jay Lethal um, and Satinum Singh and whatnot. But I don't, I don't want to see that happen. So that's why I don't want Johnny to be the Joker for the Owen Hart Cup tournament, even though he'd be a good fit for it for sure. But, um... Yeah, like I said, I didn't think Candice would, would resign. You know, I thought, you know, they let her contract expire, especially if Johnny's going elsewhere. You know, why had them separately, separate, you know, unless if Candice really did want to stay, which, you know, all power to her. But her and Johnny do seem tight knit, and that the fact that, you know, they would want to, you know, just stick with each other, basically. So, who knows? Candice could wrestle again. She may not. But wherever she goes, all power to her. You know, she's great. You know, I, you know, still thought they didn't capitalize on her in NXT. But, you know, if she still wrestles again, give her the opportunity elsewhere, she'll be great. Um, so we'll see what happens. So that's my brief thoughts on Candice LeRae departing from WWE. And her and Johnny still not going anywhere as of now because of them having the baby. But you never know. We'll wait and see. So what are your thoughts, guys, on Candice LeRae departing from WWE? Make sure you thoughts down in the comment section below. And be sure as always to slap a like on the video. Subscribe more content on my channel. Follow me on Twitter as well, at DemandAirboy93. Please stay tuned as well today as well for my live reactions during WrestleMania Backlash with Seth Rollins and Cody Rhodes, um, Edge and AJ Styles, and Charlotte Flair, and Ronda Rousey, and I quit match. That'll be tonight, guys. Catch y'all soon. Have a great rest of your evening. Peace out, everybody. Yeah, no, I will surprise. There's no escape.